There it is. Mm -hmm. All right, you did great. Thank you. How did that feel? Very good. Dr. Salse. Today we have Steven here. Steven has a great story he'd like to share with you guys about his chiropractic journey and how chiropractic has been helping him. Hi Steven, welcome back. Good morning, thank you, good to be here. I'm glad you're here. Why don't we go ahead and assess you and see how you're doing today. Absolutely. All right, and so why don't you tell me how you've been doing with your elbow. Sure. So I'm miles and miles ahead of where we were when we first started. I first heard about Salsa Chiropractic from my mother, actually. So then I looked it up and looked at all the Google reviews as well and said, it's close, it's convenient, you know, what could possibly go wrong? You're gonna continue performing mm -hmm. and this could start to act up again. So the exercises that I've taught you are gonna be critical mm -hmm. to keep this under control. And periodic adjustments also will be really important to kind of manage all of this for you. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. The primary reason I came to Salsa Chiropractic is that I had pain in my left elbow. I thought it was tennis elbow at the time, although we later found out that it was cubital tunnel syndrome, which means that I'm doubly glad to have gotten someone to look at it. I also, sort of more in the background, had some low-grade lower back pain, which is something I've had off and on as long as I can remember through my whole life. So what I'm going to do right now is just kind of check it and see how it's doing. All right? Absolutely. So let's just take a look here. Mm -hmm. And so. The, the problem that you're experiencing, the cubital tunnel syndrome, mm -hmm. is where the nerve passes right into this area right here, the ulnar nerve, mm -hmm. and it runs down all the way down into your hand. Mm -hmm. And when this was inflamed, did you notice that it was traveling down this way? Oh yes. Yeah. In fact, there were times you would adjust me in the elbow and I would feel my fingers start to tingle. Exactly. Almost like a, a, when your foot wakes up after being asleep. That's right. And mm -hmm. now these nerves here, they actually travel and they come up into the neck. So mm -hmm. if you notice, we were doing some neck adjusting as well mm -hmm. because we wanted to keep the pathways from the neck, from the brain down to here mm -hmm. so that your body can naturally heal itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, but we've also been working locally in this area as well. True. And so what we've been doing is we've been releasing all the tension that we found in this area, but we've also been adjusting the elbow. So why don't we do some of that to okay. keep you going and keep you healthy, all right? Thank okay. you. The, what I learned is that I didn't have tennis elbow after all. I had what's called cubital tunnel syndrome, which the cubital tunnel is the place in the bone where the um, nerve, one of the nerves that goes to the hand, crosses through the bone. So it nor it's normal to have a cubital tunnel, but the syndrome part of cubital tunnel syndrome is when that nerve gets inflamed and it starts to rub against the bone. And of course, that being a nerve, you can feel every single rub, so that's where the pain comes from. It's not quite an, uh, it's not an acute or a sharp pain, but the more that you use the elbow, the more that pain will become more uncomfortable and then more painful until you don't want to use the elbow at all, because it just hurts too much. I guess the trigger that I noticed was my work playing piano. My left elbow was in so much pain that I knew that I knew that I needed to find some help. I was born with a pinched nerve in my neck for months and months and months. Just if I was awake, I was crying and they didn't know why. So they were taking me to doctor after doctor after doctor, none of whom could really figure out the problem. They would try this, they would suspect that. But eventually my parents got, I guess, sick of tr dealing with the medical system and decided to try an alternative form of care. And chiropractic care has always been part of my life and my lifestyle. So with the lower back pain that I mentioned earlier, with the elbow pain that I originally came into Salsa Chiropractic for to get treated, all of those felt like natural extensions of the chiropractic care that I received when I was a child. This is going to help with things like tennis elbow, cubital tunnel. Mm -hmm. This area it's worked so hard with all of us mm -hmm. that a lot of us get tension in, in this area. Chiropractors are as important to health as most people think medical doctors are important to health. Everybody at least needs a chiropractic checkup. Everyone has teeth, so they have to go to the dentist, and everyone has um, bacteria and viruses, so they have to go to the doctor. But everyone also has muscles and bones and all the things that chiropractic deals with. Um, not to mention that chiropractic also deals with diets and posture and all of these other things that relate to a person's health. So I think everyone needs a chiropractic checkup. 
When I first came to Salsa Chiropractic, I thought I had pretty good posture because my mom has been on me from day one to have good posture. She's very health conscious like that. So I thought, you know, I'm good, check that box. And then it was only when I came into Salsa Chiropractic and Dr. Salsa had me stand in front of a mirror and look at myself full body full length mirror. And I said, oh, my left shoulder is about three inches higher than my right shoulder. That might be an exaggeration, but it was much higher. And then he additionally pointed out, Dr. Salsa additionally pointed out, my shoulders were too far forward, and that was letting my head fall forward. So it was almost no wonder that I had a bit of back pain. My back was just trying to keep me from falling over. I was tensing just to keep myself upright. Um, and then we also dived into a little bit of um, my hips were tilted a little bit forward, which was also contributing to the back pain as well. So we've been doing stretches and exercises to help all of that out. So now instead of forward and a little bit hunched, I can reset myself and relax and sit at a better posture and stand at a better posture. And I notice the health benefits day in and day out from that. I'd like you to go ahead and take your glasses off, put them right over here. Mm -hmm. And I'd like you to go ahead and lie on your stomach here for me. All right. Now drop your hands, take some deep breaths and relax. Clear your mind. I'm going to start out by just seeing how your balance is your, with your leg length. Mm -hmm. And the leg length is showing a uh, shortness on the left side. What I'm checking for is motion of the spine. We're seeing how it's moving. When the spine locks, that's where we, the chiropractor's job is to release that tension so that we'll get bones moving better. And that actually helps with your mobility and how you feel. Mm -hmm. The other thing it does is it helps with the signal from the brain coming down the spine to the rest of the body, mm -hmm. where if you have these spots that are out of alignment, which we call subluxation, it can actually affect the certain areas that it's running to, whether it's in the low back, but it actually can go to any part of your body. Right. So let's go ahead and give you a good adjustment right now, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that you're subluxated here at the fifth lumbar. Okay. I'm also feeling right here, mm -hmm. this is about T6, and then at T12. So let's get to work. What I'd like you to do is take a deep breath for me, breathe out, and you're just going to feel some pressure right here. Okay, very good. Now, this one here, what I want you to do is I want you to take another deep breath, but not yet, and I'm gonna have you lift your head. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. There you go. All right, so that one's tight. So let's get that one on your back. All right. Let's go ahead and flip you over. I'm gonna put this board down mm -hmm. right here. So lie on your back for me. Take your arms and just cross them up like this. Mm -hmm. Lift your head, tuck your chin to your chest. Take a deep breath. There you go. Okay, come on up. Perfect. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is adjust your low back. Relax your shoulder and breathe out. There you go. All right, that went right in. Great. That's perfect. Now, Steven, the nerves in this area, they actually travel right down to the hands. Mm -hmm. So this is actually part of the treatment that we use when you're having trouble with the elbows as well. Mm -hmm. So there's the adjustment. Mm -hmm. Here we go. A little bit more relax mm -hmm. here. Oh, there, there it is. is. Uh huh. We're gonna catch the other side mm -hmm. here. There it is. Mm -hmm. All right. You did great. Thank you. How did that feel? Very good. Oh. And let it go. All right. Very good. All right, Stephen, you're all set. All set. Thank you. You're very welcome. See you we'll next see you next time. time. All right, take care.